Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2023 ski test. Today we're talking about the, the classic, the Brahma 88 from Blizzard. Um, this ski's been around for a while now. It's really made a name for itself. It is hands down one of the strongest skis in the kind of 88 to low 90 all mountain category. Um, it's, it's even so far, you know, it's, it's sort of the, the benchmark for performance if you're looking for a really, really strong all-mountain ski. Um, it does have some limitations because it is so strong, and, and we'll kind of talk about that as we go through it. So, a lot going on in this ski. Um, Blizzard uses their True Blend wood core, so that's a relatively new technology for them. Um, they're basically vertically laminating denser wood alongside less dense wood so we get a really good control of flex pattern in this ski um, and what's really cool is it allows blizzard to kind of change change the feel for each length um, which really is actually retaining the correct feel for each length and who would be skiing it so we could talk forever about true blend but that's kind of the gist of it we get two full sheets of metal, um, even kind of like two and a half, you can see it. If you look at the side of the ski here, there's like an extra sheet right underfoot here. So quite a bit of metal in this ski. We do get some carbon fiber as well. There's also some rubber to add further vibration damping. So just a, a lot going on um, and very powerful, strong construction. That does make it both on the heavier side as well as the stiffer side. So this 177 length comes in at just about 2,050 grams, almost 2,060 grams. And then, yeah, these skis are famous for their pretty stiff, strong flex pattern. Um, that is paired with a shape that is more focused on power and edge grip than it is maneuverability or playfulness or anything like that. So quite a bit of camber underfoot, you know, the ski, really is mostly camber, um, but we do get a fairly long tip rocker up here. What's interesting about it, or what's particularly notable about it, is it's, it's very low splay. So in length, there's a significant amount of tip rocker, but it doesn't rise high off the snow. And what that does is it pretty much just smooths out turn initiation uh, without sacrificing your effective edge. So you don't on a powerful ski like this that's designed to carve really well and designed to be strong, you don't want to like significantly shorten the effective edge of the ski because then it's just not going to be quite as strong, particularly in edge grip through a carve. Um, much less tail rocker back here, so really kind of a nod to its, its powerful nature, the fact that it kind of leans more towards carving than it does like nimble skiing through the trees you know that tail shape with the whole construction it's really going to have a preference for finishing a carving turn with some power with some strength and a very clean round arc um, so super cool ski you know it is i don't want to say one dimensional um, but it is kind of a specific tool like, you should be a certain type of skier if you're considering this as an all-mountain ski. You should be at least an advanced level skier, and you should be pretty aggressive too. So I think that's something that people sort of get, like, hung up on, um, is ability level versus level of aggressiveness. Like, you can have the best technique in the world, but maybe you'd be better off on a ski like the Rustler 9 if you're not skiing super fast or if you don't have like really high demands for your skis in terms of power and stability and edge grip and all that stuff. So not the easiest when you take it off trail. That's kind of the, the downside or the limitation to the Brahma 88. It's not to say that you can't do it, um, but it does require some really good technique. It also is a little bit more fatiguing, you know, to kind of stick within Blizzard and to compare it to a ski like the Rustler 9. That's going to have easier edge release, where this is going to require some, some unweighting of the tail um, if you take it into moguls and trees and stuff like that. Uh, this latest version, I do think, is the most versatile yet. 
adding the true blend wood core helped quite a bit because it allowed them to soften the tips and tails just a touch without sacrificing strength and power underfoot. Um, but the Brahma 88, it's, it's still, it's the real deal. You know, this is a real ski. Um, I personally would really never recommend it to an intermediate. It's just kind of, you're going to be fighting the ski and, and it could cause some bad habits. But if you're a strong skier, if you're comfortable driving a ski into a turn, um, and if you're not too concerned with having a slightly more fatiguing, slightly more challenging ski, if you go into moguls or trees or softer snow, then it's a fantastic choice. And like, there's really not much else. There are some skis that kind of achieve this same level, but realistically, there's not many. Um, so if you want one of the strongest all mountain skis in the world, uh, it's right here, Blizzard Brahma 88. So let us know if you have any questions about it and we'll see you all out there on the hill.